up the Bulldog Pride. Go Bulldog! Hey, and welcome back on our Tate Branch Fan of the Week halftime segment. We're in Deming, New Mexico, eating burritos right now. In real life, but when we uh, recorded this at Tate Branch earlier this week, uh, we are here with our Fan of the Week, Mr. Ryan Hickey. Ryan, thanks for doing this. Thank you very much, Gene. I enjoy doing it, and thank you. I have the honor of doing it today. Yeah. A lot of people nominated you, wanted you to do this. Let's find out a little bit about yourself. You were born and raised right here in Artesia. Yes, I was born and raised here. Went to Yeso here, went through part, and then through high school here. That's right. And uh, what did you do while you were in high school other than uh, you were probably a grade A student, I'm thinking, but uh, uh, you, you helped out with the football team, and uh, what did you do for the football team? I was a manager. I helped them uh, get the water, whatever the coach needed. I was on it and did what they needed me to do. Well, how exciting was that? Because you got to be right down there on the sidelines yes. amongst the players and yes. looking up at the crowd. How, yes. how exciting was that? Oh, it was, it's fun, especially on Friday nights, looking at the crowd, especially here in a way, until you get bent over and try to get trumpled on. <laughs> I've been over once and almost got run over, but I got up and get, moved out of the way. Do you, you ever get uh, caught up in the dog pile? I've actually asked Coach to do it, but he said, no, do, 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 uh, uh, I might get hurt. So I haven't done the dog pile. Okay, no, so. But you've seen it up close, yes, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's fun. It's yeah. fun to watch. Can you tell when it's a good dog pile and it's going to be a good game or where it's a not so good dog pile or anything? I can't really tell because I'm way on the other side. Okay. And uh, I'm way on the other side, so I can't really tell. I'm, my mind's focused on what, what's the task at hand, what we're going to do. That's right. Now, in addition to helping out with the football team, you uh, were on the track team? Yes, I did coach track for since 15, 16, or 16, 17, and 18 range. I helped out with the uh, running distance runners and the 200 kids. Okay. And uh, not quite as big a crowd come, comes out for track, uh, but still some dedicated fans, right? Right. There, there's, there was a, quite a few fans. Uh, uh, we had a lot of our parents that came and supported, and we had a great crowd. Uh, long evenings, but I liked it. I didn't care if I got home at midnight or 1 in the morning. I didn't care as long as I helped out. I was good to go with it. That's right. Uh, did you ever get a chance to go to the state track meet up in Albuquerque? No. Uh, the way that works is, the like football, If there, we took a lot of kids that year. And once you get – I. I never knew this. Once you get up to a certain bus deal, uh, there there was two like two hundred. We took two hundred. A lot of the kids that qualified for state, and the bus was just full. And coach said, uh, "The bus full." I was like, "I'm fine with that." Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I I don't really care, you know. Now what, now, what year did you graduate? Sixteen. I Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. All right. But you still go to the games? Yes, I do. Yeah. Still go to the meets. Still go to the baseball, softball, basketball. Still the football games right now, football season. And football and basketball and track are my favorite sports. It's your favorite sports, and uh, uh, I know you enjoy it. Now, you're a big fan of listening to sports on the radio. I know this for a fact. Uh, you're a big fan of Jim Wilburn yes. when he did play-by-play, -play, and you got, you got to actually work with Jim yes, one Yes, I did. I actually, baseball game, believe it or not, I did work with Coach Wilburn one year, and uh, – you know, he I I love listening to him every Friday night. You and him go after each other. And uh hello, my friends. That's just another Bulldog touchdown. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out where he came up with that, but that is such a catchphrase that as soon as you say that you know exactly who you're talking about, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I do. Didn't you say he did it? He heard it on the radio or something like that? That's what I heard back in Oklahoma. He heard it somewhere back in Oklahoma, and he brought it here to, to Artesia and do that. Now, when you're not uh, following the Bulldogs and helping out there, uh, you doing a little preaching? Yes. Uh, what I do, if, I don't, if I'm not coaching, I focus on my preaching. I preach at the nursing home every other Tuesday. Uh, I preach on Facebook on Sunday nights. And sometimes at the church, I preach down at my church, New Hope Baptist. Okay. And uh, how exciting has that been for you to, to, to get involved with that? Oh, I, it's a blast. Now, I have to prepare now this today and this week I've been working on a summer for Sunday night. I enjoy it. I mean, as long as people hear God's word, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm good with that, you know. And, uh, uh, I, I was called into the ministry in 2017, 
at a Patrick Creek Death and Youth Camp. It's where I went to camp. And, I, you know, a pastor was preaching. He said, hey, watch your call. And I was like, okay, Lord, me, I want to be a preacher. And I surrendered and been preaching ever since then. That's great. And that's the New Hope Baptist Church. Yes. Uh, isn't that where your parents got married? Yes. In fact, that is where they, yes. In fact, before New Hope Baptist, there was Center Avenue Baptist. And that's where my parents got married. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And your grandfather was a preacher there yes, for a little while, too. Yes, he was. My grandpa was a pastor there. And, that's where I wanted to uh, do, and uh, we went to a bull riding deal, and a bull rider, of course, he's like, he's a cowboy as well. He said, are you ever going to ride bulls? I said, no, because you get hurt, number one, on them, <laughs> and it's not a bright idea to ride bulls as well, but he did. I enjoyed preaching, and that's why I took it with my grandpa. That's great. Well, let me ask you this, Ryan. What's your most favorite thing about being around the, the Bulldog football program and the football team? Just the experience, you know, being around the coaches is fun. Helping the kids on Friday nights is really fun, especially the defensive side, because you get to hear a lot of hits on the sideline where I stand. Sometimes I had to push the boys up back into the field of play. It's fun to, to be on the field and to be with the boys. Uh, I wish I could go this week and last week, but the trips are too far away. But next week, whenever we play Cleveland, I will be out and down on the sidelines once again with the team. We'll be looking for you down there on the sideline uh, doing your thing. We, well, we have a couple gifts for you for being our fan of the week. Uh, first thing I want to give to you, Ryan, this is a $50 gift card from the Adobe Rose here in Artesia. So you can uh, you can take your best friend or your family there. Oh, I'll probably take my mom and dad and my family there. That'd be awesome. And then we've got, uh, just for you, custom-made mug and it says uh, bulldog number one fan tape branch fan of the thank week you. that is just for you ryan thank you very much yeah. thank you well congratulations thank you i enjoy it and i'm ready for front to wait not tomorrow friday night's game <laughs> versus the dimming wildcats and and it's gonna be a great matchup like hopefully we'll do it like last friday in the third quarter <laughs> yeah, right. and uh come back home and play cleveland in the next following week that's right and we'll be ready for it. Ryan Hickey, our fan of the week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jim. Appreciate you doing this. Yes, sir. If you've got a fan of the week nomination, get a hold of Perry here at Tate Branch. And who knows, they may be next week's fan of the week. Uh, thank you, Ryan. We'll get you back to the second half in just a moment. Half in just a moment. Need new windows for your home? Beware.